Okay, good evening. This video is uh, for Georgia Jim's What Are Your Favorite Locks Contest. I'm using a very awkward camera strap that's attached to the back of my neck so it won't get too wobbly. Uh, and this is Mr. Georgia Jim. I'll just leave that up there and I will include it in the description. Uh, he's very useful. I have a, two of his playlists saved. Uh, one of them is obviously, since I've only been doing this for a month and a half, uh, How to Pick Locks it has three videos on it. Let's move that out of the way. Here are my three favorite locks, and here's why. They're the going to be my warm-up locks no matter what. I, uh, Master Lock 3, 140, and Lady Locks uh, sent me this. I received it just a few days ago, and I really like it because it's unusual. And uh, I dig it. I find everything strange and fascinating, so obviously something just a little more strange and fascinating is going to be that much more interesting. Okay, so it's obviously of the same quality as uh, 3. Now, this is the first lock I ever <clears throat> sourced, uh, and it's very important to be clutch at least once a day. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get to picking here. The other uh, video I have, playlist that I have saved from Mr. George Jim here, he's an excellent source. I just watch, I'm subscribed to quite a lot of lock pickers because I watch the even more complicated locks that they pick because it I absorb that information and the subtle nuances of how they pick them and I got to practice my ergo comb pardon about the angles on this thing first lock I actually purchased this thing I can usually get open all the time myself. I'll just sit here and pick for hours while watching uh, film or alternate in between playing a uh, video game and picking these locks. And I just do it because uh, I greatly enjoy it just like everyone else. And they're very good warm up locks. Uh, so. Lady Lox sent me uh, a lot of swag, which was good one, of course. But also, it's like a wafer lock here, and a couple others. This, uh, well, not too well, but the schlog. I can't say it normally. It would not say schlog. even a little ridiculous voice characterizations. I get great enjoyment from them. Uh, occasionally I'll talk like a, a weirdo with no definite accent or clue about what is going on. Perhaps it's an upcross twit. Or perhaps it's a fellow gentleman who is playing a very slow role. That's not a very good characterization, you'll excuse me. Uh, I usually do the movie announcer voice best. Uh, whoop. Maybe I should focus more on picking the damn lock, huh? Yeah. I'm to edit that part out. There we go. <laughs> of course I can't now, because I just picked all these. Oh well. That's okay. I don't take my two self too seriously. I don't take my two self too seriously. What the hell? Uh, unless it's necessary to take oneself too seriously. That's what I do. Things get broken. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, pardon my silly voice characterizations, and there you have it. Thank you, Georgia Jim, for providing good information here, actually.
He falls down all by himself, perfectly landing. Ha, 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 ha.